Should you become a physical therapy assistant? Hey, what's up guys? My name is Antonio and I work in physical therapy. And in this channel, I talk about health tips, education and exercises. And in this series specifically, I'm talking about things to know about PTAs. <sighs> now in this video, I will be talking about should you become a PTA. Let's get to it. Now I'm gonna be talking from my own personal experiences of how I came to the decision I did and how I decided that I wanted to go to become a PTA. And so I'll be sharing some of the thoughts I had, some of the feelings like I, I didn't really know what I wanted to be. Now the first thing I thought about when deciding if I wanted to become a PTA was how long is this gonna take? So I knew that a PTA program only takes two years to complete, whereas if I got my bachelor's in something else, it would take four years. And I was the type of person who was unsure if this is what I actually wanted to do. So I knew that if I ended up changing my mind, I would have only spent two years becoming a PTA, so I still had plenty of time afterwards if I decided to do something else. Instead of like some of my friends who go to college for four years, get a degree, decide they don't like that degree, change it, go back to school, and it's a much longer process. The second thought that rolled through my mind was, how much is this gonna cost me? Because I was paying for my own school and I had literally no money saved up, so I knew that I needed to pick something that wasn't very expensive. And so instead of a four year degree, like I talked about before, this was only two years, so it was much cheaper than if I was to dorm at a university and spend money going to school for four years. So I knew that it would be much cheaper if I went down this route and I was a waiter on the side all throughout school so I could pay off a little bit of school and make my debt not be so out of hand and crazy when I was all done with it. Which is good to do if you don't wanna spend an arm and a leg. So it's inexpensive and it doesn't take long to complete. And the third thought I had was you make a decent living when you're done with the program. So I knew that this job wasn't gonna make me six figures, but I also knew that this job wasn't like a minimum wage job. So I'd have a comfortable middle living, enough to start a family, start paying off my debt and get a house and start my life. And then I could decide if I didn't enjoy this career or not. Another thought that I had when I was thinking about whether to become a PTA was what are the hours like? How often do they work? Do they work the weekends? Do they work holidays? And when I researched it, I found out that they actually have good hours. A lot of PTAs don't work crazy hours. They work normal shifts and are able to be home later in the afternoons to be with their family. And they don't have to go in super early. They usually don't have to work the weekends depending on where you work. So it had a lot of benefits of working in this field. I was someone who was very uncertain about my choice, but I knew that it had flexible hours so I could do my hobbies afterwards. So I'm someone who likes art, like music. I like video stuff. I, I'm very into all these different things. So I would have time after my job to be able to go and play the piano and do things that I enjoy doing. And I could also support these endeavors because I'll be bringing in an income now. So I'll actually have the money to do what I want now and buy more hobby gear that I enjoy. These were some of the thoughts that were going through my head at the time. Like I had no idea if this is something I actually wanted to do. I had some people telling me to do what I love to do because you'll never work a day in your life. And then I also had some people saying, no, you need to get a good job that can support you financially. And then I had some people say, no, it's not about how much you make, it's who you work with. So I had a lot of different advice coming to me, but I still didn't know if this is what I wanted to do. I was one of those people who just was very unsure about what to do. So for me, this was a, a small choice that I could become a PTA, I could start my career in this, and I could have a comfortable living, and if I ever wanted to change my mind, I could. It was just a way to progress in life. I didn't, I didn't wanna be one of those people who kept changing their, their ideas of what they wanted to do over and over again. I decided to pick something, finish it, and then, and then see how I liked it. Once it was all said and done, if I really didn't like it, at least I could make enough money to go back to school to be something else. So those were the thoughts that were running through my head because when I finished uh, high school, I had no idea what I wanted to be. I 
I actually didn't even go to college my first semester after high school. I was, I didn't even start. My family kind of freaked out on me a little bit because they were like, why didn't you go to college? Because I was very unsure of what I wanted to do and I didn't want to just spend a lot of money towards something that I didn't love. So after I took time to think about all these things that I shared with you guys, I was able to come to a decision, start the PTA program, and it was really enjoyable. Now this isn't just for younger people like me, like I was the youngest kid in my PTA program class. So there was a lot of older people than me that were doing this to support their families and different things and they all loved it as well. Like I had a really great program and all my classmates were super cool. Now there is one thing that I actually haven't even talked about yet and that is do I even actually like this career now that I'm in it? And this is the most important answer that I'm going to share with you because I actually found out that I love this career. Like, it's so fun for me and it's so enjoyable for me to go into work every day, work with people because I love people. I wanna see them get better. I wanna see them get stronger. I wanna see them do the things they used to be able to do. I have such a passion for working and helping people. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and say that every day is just roses and every day is fun and woo. That's not true at all. I have some days where I do not wanna to go to work but that's normal, that's just like every other job. But overall, I love this career and it's been super enjoyable for me. So I hope that through all this rambling and all my thoughts that you were able to come to a decision whether or whether or not you want to become a PTA. So let me know in the comment section if you're interested in becoming a PTA and like the video if you found it helpful. Um, if not, I'm really sorry to waste your time, but these were just my own personal experiences and own personal thoughts that I came to the conclusion of, should I become a PTA? Hopefully it was helpful for you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Peace!